By default, the kernel upgrades in Ubuntu are managed by Canonical, and you're locked into the release of kernel that was around at the time of, uh, I think it's beta development, for the operating system. Although you can gain slightly newer kernels with the long-term support release, you can't get particularly high. I mean, what happens if you want the brand new release of kernel that was just released by Linus Torvalds? Well, you can manually install it, manually download the dev packages and install them from the mainline kernel, or you could compile the source code, yeah, nothing to stop you doing that. But that is manual work and a lot of effort. Well, there's an alternative with UKUU, the Ubuntu Kernel Upgrade Utility. This is a graphical user interface to downloading and installing kernels from the mainline PPA. Now the mainline PPA is also managed by Canonical, but I don't think they actually do particularly much, maybe a couple of minor tweaks to the kernel and then you just upload the new packages. But a good way of thinking of it, it's just a pre-compiled kernel in a format that you can install in the operating system. So right here I have various releases I can install, and I have a couple of versions installed, 4.11.3 and 4.12.3. Let's take a look around this utility. So there's some settings, so we can get a notification of when a major or point release is available. Show a notification bubble on the desktop. Uh, trouble is, I've only been using this for a few days, so I've not had a new release just yet. So can't say how well that works just yet. So check every... I think by default it's a matter of hours, but new kernels don't get released that often, and it's not going to matter if you're a couple of days late on getting the update. In fact, four days is perhaps a little bit too much. Two days might be more realistic, I think. And we can hide unstable and release candidate releases. Good, because I don't necessarily want those. And you can hide kernels that are older than version 4.0. And there's a setting you can change on Grub for how long you want the boot screen to display for. I don't want it. So, okay. Very simple there. And in terms of installing a new kernel, it's pretty much just point and click. Oh, but you do have to type in your sudo password as well, so yeah, one minor bit of typing, depending how long your password is. Hopefully very long and very complex. Or is it just 12345? Oh, I hope not. So this little terminal box tells me that uh, we're downloading the AMD64 kernel. That's appropriate for my operating system. So it automatically selects whether you're using the 32 or 64 bit. So the Grub bootloader has automatically recognized the newer kernel, or in this case, the older kernel. So installation complete, a reboot is required to use the new kernel. Close the window to exit. Close. And there's this pop-up message that's appeared afterwards saying, Mainline kernels can sometimes cause problems if there are proprietary drivers on your system. These issues include Wi-Fi not working, black screen on startup, and random screen freezes. If you face any of these issues, there is no need to panic. Yes, you can select the older kernel from the Grub Boot menu. And if it doesn't appear by default, you can press Shift at the boot up to make it appear. So okay. And that's it. Uh, if we can remove the older kernel, I would advise leaving a couple of kernels on your system. That's where you can roll back to an older kernel. Oh, why have I got write errors here and broken pipes? That doesn't sound good. Uninstall completed though, so okay. The Ubuntu kernel upgrade utility certainly is a useful tool. Now I would not go and recommend this to everyone because I would rather recommend you leave it on the canonical managed kernel, but if you do have to use a newer kernel, this certainly is a very useful utility. And the examples for wanting to use a newer kernel are if you've got problems with any of the drivers on the existing kernels, or you have newer hardware, for example the AMD Ryzen or Intel Kaby Lake CPUs, which will work better with the newer kernels. Well, install instructions are in the video description, and thanks for watching, and I'll see you all later.